ladies and gentlemen. Power GPU here. This is going to be a little video over two 7970s, just to give you an idea what I did before um, versus single card and having a crossfire setup. I just got in my 7970 in today, uh, which I was very excited to test it out. So I'm going to show you some uh, pictures here. And let me take this one up. That was my last planet too. All right, so let's start off with Last Planet 2 since we already have it open here. So as you can see, Last Planet 2, I averaged 87.4, and on the top left-hand corner, you can see I averaged or my temperatures was 78 Celsius and 73. Keep in mind that was at stock fan speed, so whatever um, you know AMD has it set at. So as you can see, it was at 43% on the top one, and then 39% at uh, the bottom one. So I went from 55. Point Three, I think it was FPS to 87.4, almost double, almost. That's very nice scale. Let's go to the next one. I went ahead and did Unigen Heaven. All right, on Unigen Heaven, uh, stock I averaged 37.3, I think it was. Uh, my minimum was like 17, and I think my max was 90 something. Um, so now I went from FPS uh, from 47 to 73.8. Uh, minimum was 33.3 .3 and max was 180. And as you can see here, this is that extreme preset. Okay, so let's close that out. Then I did do um, just a open and run type deal without all the extreme settings, which is Pinky Faco 5 did a video on his 26990s and I think he averaged 130. I actually averaged 131.1. My minimum was 44, my max was 275. This is an open and run. Um, which a lot of uh, review the viewers do it uh, for some reason. I don't know why, so I just went ahead and did that. And this is 2.5 to let you know, it's not 2.0. Uh, next, uh, let's see here. Oh, I did do an overclock. Um, I did 1100 on the core and uh, what was it? Uh, 1475 on the memory. So only 100 megahertz over on the memory, not a big deal. And on the core, I did 175 megahertz over. And as you can see, I jumped up from uh, 73 to 82. My minimum did go down, but my maximum went up uh, 50, or 25 FPS, so it's a pretty good boost there. Let's just close that out. 3 to Mark 11. Okay. In 3 to Mark 11, which, you know what, let's just go ahead and go to... Let's just go to Future Mark real quick to give you, just, just to show you, because... Oh, that's right, no, I didn't save it. Oh, what the heck is that? Ugh. She-Man. Alright, close it up. Anyways, I forgot to save it. So I scored 13,256. This was done today um, at 6.42 p.m. Hey, that was only like 20 minutes ago. Alright, so let's close that out. And then I did do a Metro benchmark, which in the Metro benchmark, um, I went up from, if I'm not mistaken, it was 33.3 FPS. I have to look back on my video. Um, at stocks, uh, with one card at stock settings. Um, and my minimum, I think, was like 10. So my minimum only went up like 2. But my average, man, 59.83, almost double again. The scaling on these cards are just amazing. AMD actually did really good this time. I really do like what they did there. Um, let's go to uh, AVP. I did do an AVP benchmark. Here it is. All right, so on AVP, I went ahead and averaged 177 FPS. Again, this is an open and run. I didn't change any of the settings. Open and run. So I went up from, I think it was 96 FPS on open and run to 177. Again, almost double. It's very close in performance. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave you with those uh, benchmarks there. I'm gonna do some more benchmarks, of course. At the current moment, uh, Crisis 2, for some reason, is not supporting my second card. It's not supporting Crossfire. I'm going to have to Google that. If you guys have any answers for me, please post it at the, you know, at the comments at the bottom. I haven't really looked into it yet. But when I do run Crisis 2, it still is only using one GPU, which doesn't make any sense because reviewers have been using these cards and it's running both cards. So I need to find that out first uh, before I run that. Um, the other thing, too, is I wanted to mention, um, it's probably been, a lot of people have been talking about it. I just I, I got on Steam and... Uh, someone sent me a message and stuff like that telling me that Efaco 5 is finally bringing back his channel, which I think is great. Um, Efaco 5 actually is the one that uh, kind of motivated me to do my own channel, and um, look at me where I'm at today. I mean, 
Honestly, subscribers is a plus for me. Uh, honestly, I'm not doing it for the subscribers. Um, I'm more doing it just because it's it's what I do. It's my hobby. Um, having you guys is a plus. Um, you guys are support and you know give me your feedback and stuff like that. So I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Effectful Five is back. He's planning to you know hit the road again with with uh, benchmarking and stuff like that, which would be great. Uh, I'll you know I'd love to com you know to compete with him. Uh, it'll be fun you know compete as far as video cards and stuff like that. Kind of benchmark each other. Um, so it'd be nice for him to join the game. Uh, finally back. You know it's been two years I think since he's been gone. And it's exactly two years since I started my channel. So right when he left, I started my channel. So I think, right, actually no, right when I started my channel, it was like, I think two weeks later, three weeks later, he closed his channel down. So thanks eFaco5 for coming back and for motivating me to start my own channel. Anyways, on that note, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be doing, of course, way more benchmarks and gameplay footage uh, pretty soon. And if you guys have any recommendations, send me a PM or leave it at the bottom in the comments. It's better if you send me a PM. I'll read it because it goes straight to my phone. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm going to do some uh, little slide here for you, a little photos uh, as far as the machine goes and the video cards. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night. See you guys in the next one.